The Pacific Ocean is the world's largest body of water at 165 million square kilometers in size and covers about one third of the Earth's surface. All of the continental land masses on the planet could be placed in the Pacific Ocean and if one tried there would still be room to fit another continent the size of Africa. Slicing the floor of the Pacific are canyon-like trenches or deeps that have an average depth of over 4,300 meters but the rest is largely an underwater plain. The greatest known depth is the Challenger Deep at over 11,000 meters in the Marianas Trench. Rising from the plains are swellings, many of which are volcanic seamounts. The extensive Albatross Plateau covers most of the southeast and east central Pacific basins. The Pacific Ocean is a world of its own. On the surface, one can experience the optical phenomenon known as the green flash that occurs shortly after sunset for no more than a second or two above the disappearing sun. And beneath the vast blue sea are animals and other organisms that contribute to the hoped for balance in the ecosystem. The coral reefs are rich in life, providing a home for 25% of all marine species and are often referred to as the rainforests of the sea. The Great Barrier Reef off the coast of northeastern Australia is the largest coral reef in the world at over 2,000 kilometers long. Deep on the Pacific floor is a reddish-brown material derived from the remains of marine plants and animals that once inhabited the waters above. Climate change occurs when long-term weather patterns are altered. And although this is a natural cyclical occurrence, human activity has hastened this process to our ultimate doom. Changes under the surface of the deep blue sea are not easy to observe, but the effects of industrial fishing, pollution and climate change are having a major effect on our oceans. Mankind holds the future health of all the seas, including the great Pacific Ocean, in its hands together with the physical welfare of the great land masses.